The Otis Primes are some of the finest lenses that I've ever had the pleasure of shooting with. With their fantastic, durable build quality and the pristine images they produce, there is no wonder that these lenses are as well respected as they are. Much like my Vespid Prime review, this won't be a fully scientific review, but rather one that just provides my thoughts along with some real world examples. First off, let's talk about the build quality. There are four lenses in the set, 28, 55, 85, and 100. All are different sizes, since they are photography lenses after all, each with their different filter threads. For some filmmakers, this may be a little cumbersome, since a set of Cine Primes have the same filter threads, but if you ask me, if you have your filters at the ready, it takes two seconds to swap them out. Regardless, these lenses are built like tanks. Now, I wouldn't recommend that you go out and drop them to test their durability, but they certainly feel like professional lenses. The focus rings on these babies are very much like still lenses. The focus throw is very much narrow compared to that of a cine lens. This just means that you'll have to adjust differently with rack follow focusing if you are used to cinema lenses, that is. But the focus rings across all of them are buttery smooth, especially the 28mm. There are different mounts that you can purchase for these lenses. The Nikon mount gives you a manual aperture that you can have de-clicked, whereas the EF mounts are electronically controlled. I have the EF mount version, and while it would be nice to have a manual aperture, my workload isn't entirely affected since there are only a few key instances in which you'll need to change the aperture quickly. Now let's get to the what you really wanted to see, I'm sure. The image quality. These lenses are absolutely breathtaking. The best way to describe them is to say that they are like the equivalent of a cool, refreshing glass of water. They're crisp, sharp, fast, they're the whole package. These are often compared to the Zeiss Master Primes, considering that they have similar optical elements. Bokeh is beautiful. I feel a lot of shooters on this platform complain too much about cat eye bokeh, but if you ask me, this can give your frame a lot of character. As I said earlier, the Otis's are fast lenses. Each has an aperture of f1.4. Now let's talk about the pricing. If you want to buy them right out the box, it'll set you back about five grand a lens. You can buy them used for less than half the price. All the lenses you see here, I got them used off of eBay. You can, and they range from the price of like 1800 to about 2200 At least that's what I've seen. Spendy, sure, but considering the build and image quality, I'd say they're more than worth the price, especially what you're getting is essentially mini master primes. Are there any cons? Well, there's a few, in my opinion. First off, there's only four lenses. Most lens sets, be it photography or cine lens, have at least six in their lineup. It's really a shame that Zeiss never really expanded beyond the four. It'd have been so dope to have, say, a 21 or a 40 millimeter to bridge the gap, to go a little wider than the 28 and have something in between the 28 and the 55, but they never did. If you like what you see and you decide to pick up these lenses, I would recommend getting a couple of Milvises to complete it. Personally, I would say the Milvises are slightly inferior to the Otis's when it comes to image quality, but they'll match up just fine with the Otis's. My other complaint comes down to the focus throw. Now, this is a minor complaint, but I do much prefer the focus throws of the Milvises and the Stoggins, which are much longer and less narrow, making it much easier for video and film because you can rack focus and follow focus much easier. But like I said, it's minor. With enough practice, focusing with these lenses will be a breeze. So, who are these lenses for? Well, they're for everyone. I'm of the belief that you can use whatever the hell you want on whatever you want. If you like the look of a certain glass, then by all means, go for it. And don't let any snob tell you otherwise, which unfortunately there is a lot of in the cinematographer cam op world. I have used the Otis's for event purposes, narrative work like short films, music videos, and I've even used them on weddings. I adore the images they produce. It really can make your image pop, and the 1.4 aperture really gives you more room to breathe. If you really like that crisp look, the Otis's will be your best friend. Hopefully this video was informative enough for you, and who knows, I may review another lens set down the road.